United States Central Command reported on Wednesday the apprehension of an Iranian arms shipment for Yemen in the Gulf of Oman. According to a U.S. source, the Navy aided the French Army in the mission. This report has more details. The U.S. Navy supported the French military in intercepting thousands of assault weapons and half a million rounds of ammunition bound for Yemen from Iran, according to a statement released by the U.S. military on Wednesday. The seizure in the Gulf of Oman occurred on January 15, according to the Fifth Fleet. U.S. Fifth Fleet assets aided partner Marine forces in the interception by exchanging data and assisting in the overall coordination, eventually assuming custody of the recovered weapons via a ship-to-ship -ship handover with French partner forces. On Wednesday, the U.S. Central Command announced the seizure of almost 3,000 assault weapons, 578,000 rounds of ammo, and 23 anti-tank guided missiles. According to the release, Central Command employees supplied critical and timely information to international forces conducting the interdiction and helped organize the supporting efforts of U.S. military assets. According to a U.S. Central Command statement issued on Wednesday, the capture is one of four key illegal cargo interdictions over the past two months, preventing the flow of more than 5,000 weapons and 1.6 million rounds of ammunition to Yemen. The capture comes only five days after the Central Command reported that the United States had intercepted a shipment of 2,116 Iranian assault weapons en route to Yemen. U.S. Central Command also claimed on Wednesday that Yemeni security forces had captured 100 unmanned aerial vehicle engines destined for Houthi militants. However, the announcement did not indicate when the seizure took place. Yemen has been at war since 2015 with Iran supporting the Houthis, a rebel group who ousted the government at the start of the conflict. The conflict has resulted in widespread poverty and starvation, as well as tens of thousands of civilian fatalities, resulting in one of the world's greatest humanitarian crises, according to relief organizations.